Hi there my stitching friends. Today I'm going to show you how I make my little fluffy bobbles. Um, I, I did a separate video making these little the little crocheted hats and uh, and this one is about the bobbles so I hope if you want to watch there's, there is a video on the on the hats as well. So you'll need some yarn. I've got some nice green sparkly one here. Um, I'm using a nice sharp pair of scissors with a nice point. I'm using um, a cat comb. It's like a wire brush with, with little hooks on the top. So if you've got one of those brushes at all, or you can buy them, they are quite cheap enough. And they, they are the secret to fluffing it up. And I'm using the Clover Bobble Makers. I'm using, that's upside down, a very small one. It's um, the one and three eighths of an inch one, which is 35 millimeters. So it's this tiny pink one. So let's get started. So here we go. This is the bobble maker. And there's two sets of, of arms on it. There they are. Okay, so you just need to open one to start with. So I'm going to open this set of, of arms. And we're just going to start winding our yarn around it. So I'm going to lay the, the yarn down on it. Oops. There you go. And once you've got the first couple around, you can let you can let go. So I want to try and show you. There we go. So we need for these little ones. I found I need to go three times across, and we need to start right at the very edge and go across. So you're winding around. Okay. So you're just laying the the wool or the yarn next to the piece before it. And you need to go right into the corners. You don't want to catch it onto these bits. You don't want it caught around these bits. All right. And then you come back. Whoops. And I found to make the size I want and how fluffy I want it, because it depends on how much you will you wind on, how fluffy it's going to be. So for what I want, I found three times going back and four. That's the second, and we start in the third. So these little ones don't take an awful lot of yarn. The bigger ones take quite a lot of uh, yarn and quite a bit of time. But these ones, these ones are quite quick to do. So I don't got to be too precious about it, but there we go. And now, what I want to do now is see that little gap there. I want to fill that set so that it's flat, really. So I'm going to go around the middle a bit now. Fill in that middle bit up so it's nice and full. There we go. So that, that gap now is, is flat. And you just shut that up. And you can cut the thread. Don't worry about where you cut it because you'll be trimming it later. And then you turn it over and you open the second pair of arms and you do the same thing again on the other side. So just to recap, we're going to go put it round a couple of times to start me off and then I can let go and... Uh, go around. So I'm going to fill this one up again. Now remember it was three times back, forwards, back and then fill up the middle. So I've done the second one. I'm just going to snip off the, the yarn and I'm going to close that up. So now they're both closed. So I'm going to take my nice little sharp pair of scissors and there is a groove down the middle here and I'm going to Put my scissors in and cut around. Now it's best if you cut on the, the part that doesn't open, not the part that opens. Only because if you if you start over there, you're likely to knock it open. So I'm going to put my scissors into that groove and cut away. So that's one side cut. And then I'm going to turn over, holding that bit down, and I'm going to cut the other side. Then I'm going to get a long piece of the yarn that I've used. 
probably roughly around 20 inches for, for, for what I want to do. Um, so you're going to put this piece of yarn in that groove in the middle. All right, fetch it to the front. And I try and make sure as the ends of it are, are about equal. And then I'm going to tie, just simply tie a knot, just a normal knot through and you're going to pull that down tight really really as tight as you can that first one needs to be really tight then I'm going to flip the whole thing over and I'm going to tie it fetch the yarn up and tie it the opposite side and I'm going to put two knots in this side one pull them nice and tight So now then some people say that's enough but just for good measure I do it again I turn it over and I do that again one two and that's mine finished now you have to take these this apart so you open up the arms both sides that and then you simply pull pull it apart um, the one piece has got a, a pin on it it's not sharp and you just pop, pop it back together shut it up and put it to one side and then you pick up your pom-pom which is looking a little bit raggedy at the moment I normally give it a little roll in my hand and now it's looking a bit better. And the next part now is the haircut. Now, when I first read about the haircut, I thought, I'm not doing that. That's a waste of time. But actually, the little haircut and the brush make such a huge difference to the um, the finished pom-pom look. You see, that's, and that's it done. So it's well worth doing. And actually, now that I'm getting into it, I really enjoy doing the little haircut. So I'm going to hold it by these ends. These ends, if you've cut them off, it's not the end of the world. But it, if they're on, it's nice and easy for you to attach that onto there with that thread. So if you can remember, and it's something to hold it by as well. So taking a lovely sharp pair of scissors, I'm going to give him a little haircut, just snipping. So the bit that sticks out, but trying to snip everywhere just a little bit, because what I found is that by snipping these ends it's sort of loosening the weave of the wool or the twi twist of the wool I should say and it, it already starts begins to take on a different appearance and be a little bit fluffy so take your time doing this work your way around and if you wanted to make it a smaller pom-pom you can do a, a deeper cut I'm just going to slowly work my way around with this. There you go. So I've given him a good trim. It's already looking better. So you can see the bits I've trimmed off there. So now I'm going to take the little cat brush. I'm working quite gently and going in different directions. I don't want to be too rough with it, but sort of patting it almost and, and just pull in a little bit. And then it gives it, right. All the way round. And it fluffs all the ends of your yarn out. You can see the green coming off. And you need to go in different directions and give it a good old fluff in and then if there's any ends sticking out that really obvious you can have another little little bit of a trim but that's looking pretty good to me and nice and fluffy yes so that's it that's ready now for whatever you want to make baubles for or if you want to attach it to a to a hat I would get a big darning needle and thread that 
that through the center to attach to attach him so i hope you enjoyed that and i hope that you'll look at my um other i've got lots of other videos um some on crochet a lot on patchwork and quilting and of course the one for doing the hat so thank you for watching bye